Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at the VBA code needed to sort a column within an Excel table and base the sort on the icon within the cell. So in the transaction value column, I've got conditional formatting icons and I want to bring all the yellow arrows to the top of the list. That's what I'm setting out to do. And this is just a screen grab here of all the different icons uh, that you can apply through uh, conditional formatting. Now, I've started my sub procedure for you a little bit. I've declared some variables. Um, the first one was for the uh, worksheet, which I've said is the active sheet. Then for the table, and I've declared that as a list object referring to the particular table that we're going to sort and sort in called transactions. That's called transactions. And then also I've set another variable for the column I'm going to sort by. Uh, that's, set as, uh, that's declared as a range and set as the particular column I'm going to sort on, which is the transaction value column within the transactions table. Uh, by declaring these variables, it just makes the code that we're eventually going to write to sort just a lot neater and indeed shorter. So I'm going to write a with statement to refer to the sort property of my list object. And I'm going to refer to the sort fields property. And the first thing to do is to clear sort fields. Then I need to add the sort that I want to apply using the add method. And that has a number of parameters, the first of which is the key parameter, which basically needs to know which column you're going to sort by. So that's sort col. Um, that's the uh, variable that we set up here. Then the other parameter I'm going to use is sort on. Sort on. And here I need to declare what I'm going to sort on. I'm going to sort on values, colors. No, I want to sort on icons. Helpful little trick if you press control space. Brings up the IntelliSense list if you're not quite sure how to specify this. It could help your Excel sort on icon. There we are. Excel sort on icon. Okay. Now I'm going to come down on another line because then what we need to do is specify the icon set that we're sorting on. So set icon and I need to specify. So set icon is a method and the first parameter is to specify the icon sets that I'm using. Now that's part of the active, it's part of the workbook object dot icon sets, a collection of icons and then you can specify what type of icons you're using. Now, again, control space can help here. Excel, and so you've got things like Excel three arrows, which is this set, the set that we're using, but then also, for example, Excel arrows gray. Well, uh, three arrows gray, they'll, they'll be, that'll be that set there. So if you look through this menu, you'll see a description. You should better match to the icon set that you're using. So I'm using three arrows. And then you have to specify which particular icon, so which particular arrow you want to bring to the top. So uh, you can do that with the, let's see, you've got an item property here, and then that's just an index. So if I put in two, that is essentially the second icon within that set. So the yellow arrow in this example. 
Okay, so then all I need to do, last thing I need to do, the salt property is apply it using the apply method. And that should be enough. Let's see if it actually works. And you can see it has, it's bought all the yellow arrows to the top. Okay, so that's all this video set out to do, just to show you how to sort in an Excel table based on icons applied using conditional formatting. Thanks very much for listening. Hopefully it's been helpful. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.